Hello everybody, it's Glenda with Freylands and Friends Crafts Plus. Tonight we're gonna finish that we're gonna finish that witch. <sighs> we're gonna have some fun. Oh, did you notice that we took the sheet down and we now have our bulletin board back? <coughs> Which could use some updating, by the way. <laughs> I went ahead. I baked it after those, after we got the folds on, the hem, and the neckline, and our little turned-up shoes. Then I had started to go ahead and make the head and the arms, but finally realized I actually needed to bake this part of her first. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. just had supper. Okay, it's time to shape her head. I'm going to start out with this foil, give it a, make it kind of a tight ball, and then give her somewhat of a shape. I'll do a lot of it with clay, but right now I'm trying to kind of force it into compliance. I'm kind of punching her face in, but that's going to change when I do the clay. I'm looking for a more of a long chin on her, but I may <laughs> I may decide to not quite make it so long later. But for right now, there we go with the clay. I hope you don't mind. I do have to speed a lot of this up, otherwise we'll never get it in without it being an hour long or more. We're going to have... I'm I'm applying the clay now to the... Oh, I think I'm ready to. <laughs> there, I am. I'm applying the clay to the head. The foil gives it structure, is basically what it does. Just like the wire does on the body. And yeah, I'm Flumming around just trying to give it a basic shape. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think I had the back of it done yet as far as covered. thought I had her more in camera, but it's kind of hard because it's just, I get to concentrating on the work, and I should have had the camera more zoomed out than in. There we go. That's the basic face shape that I'm going for. Time for some eyes. Make some nice sunken big eyes. Because we have to add things, like... We need to add some little eyeballs. Yeah, kind of have to form them tiny because they don't have a whole big spot. It's big on the face, but it's not real big in the reality. <laughs> so, there we go. There's one eye, two eyes. I think I'm forming the eyebrows right now. Yep. I believe. In a little bit here, I'll be giving her some eyelids. No, I think those were the eyelids. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at, honestly. Yeah, it was the eyelids. Ain't you cute? Not really, not yet. 
She doesn't even seem very real right now, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm trying to give a little more shape to the eye. Oh, those elbows. <laughs> I do lotion them. It's just I have got those elbows. Uh, for time's sake and to keep you from getting bored, I may have to cut a little of this out. Okay. Now I'm giving her some eyebrows. It takes me a little bit of time to form this because uh, it's a face. Face have faces have a lot of features. And so by the time you get them all filled in, it just takes a lot of time. And I'm not experienced at it, <laughs> which is another big thing. I made that partial witch's head here a couple years ago for that scene, but it was just her head. The rest was under the grave. She was trying to crawl out, if you remember. <laughs> it was a weird scene. Some of this is going to look pretty rough until, well, for one, until I get it done, and for another, until... I bake it and get some paint on it. I do start, I mean, I do realize why they go with the Super Sculpey. Because this isn't that easy to hold together the work. Yeah, I give her too big a mouth here and I have to go back and switch it. <laughs> Let's see if I can cut out some of this detail. Okay, I'm just going to let you know quickly. I'm getting ready to start making the ear. Okay, head is baked. Sleeves are on. <laughs> and she's even got a cuff on each each sleeve. She's got some hands. I'm going to take this off. And well, let's just cover this part. Maybe too long of a nope. Wow, look at her. Just need to put a neck on her. Holy cow. No, I don't want it to look like a collar. I want. Soften this back up. Get my fingerprints off. Well, I'm into the bake. This is the end product so far. And we will be painting her today. 
which I hope you like what she looks like. I do understand that why this super sculpey is used. I am still in training, so I'm using the training. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think once I get her painted, she'll look pretty good. You can see that I've got hair on her, and I gave her a little cleft chin so we know where the chin is. <laughs> so I think she turned out kind of cute. Her arm's a little short, but I don't know. I guess it depends on how you expect arms to be. But she is witchy. So we'll paint her today. I uh, Yeah, it is the next morning. I get so tired. It, it takes me a long time to do this. And I'm kind of glad I don't get to show you the whole process. Because that would end up with three days worth of just construction. So I hope you enjoyed this. And tomorrow... We paint, or today, we paint, and you'll see it tomorrow. So please do subscribe, click the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. I don't have any paint right now, so I can't give you a green thumb. So we'll see you tomorrow. Be sure to smile and wave, let people know that you like them, and or give them a thumbs up, whichever you prefer. And we will see you mañana.